Love Hotels, also known as Love Motels, first appeared in South Korea in the mid-1980s. They were originally called Parktel, and I didn't want to leave Korea without checking them out. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. It is my last days here in Korea, but there is one video I really wanted to do. I've done this type of video in Japan and in New York. We're going to try out a Love Hotel in Korea. We are in Incheon, South Korea. Um, I went out of Seoul to do this video, finding the world's love hotels. I don't know why, I don't use them. <laughs> like, we're just gonna go in and look at them. We're here at Hotel Bellis. One thing about love hotels here is it, it says motel on the outside. That means it's a love hotel. Also, if they have these things uh, to cover up the cars and to cover people going in, it's common of love hotels. <laughs> so I guess you, I guess we go in through here. I'm kind of scared about this. It's very uh, secret, a secret mission. Thank you. Thank you. These where you put the cards and you're done? Um, they gave us this. I don't know what's in it. I'm assuming what's in it. And I think I think we got the school room one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. We have got we have a lot of goodies in here. Toothbrushes. I have two new toothbrushes. Do you need one? You can have one as well. That's your payment. Oh, a razor. That's good too. I did need another one of those. A lady set. Okay, so this is like hair bands and stuff. I remember in Japan they had those as well. This is like skincare. Okay, that's what I was assuming was in there. Just a bunch of skincare products. That's kind of cool. We have shave lotion. We have toothpaste, they have like everything in here. Our, our $25, it's about $25, was not wasted. We thought there'd be a costume in here because in the picture it looked like there were, was, but we have to rent them or buy them. Do we just go down and buy it from that guy behind the window? <laughs> yeah, it's awkward, but... <laughs> it's such an awkward thing. What? Choice. We have no choice. This is this is the life of a YouTuber. We're gonna, we're gonna go ask this man at the reception for a school girl costume. <laughs> the what the girl? Trying to give him a room code. Oh, there. Samida. Got the kids. <laughs> it's such a weird job to have to work at the desk of a love hotel. <laughs> this is around like maybe $15, $14. A full outfit. A scammy love hotel. Making us buy our own costumes. Jeez. What are they even offering us? A, a chalkboard with no chalk. So Min is gonna go down and see if we can get any props for the schoolroom. <laughs> I don't wanna go back down and ask for more. Like we've already faced this receptionist too many times. Oh, I'm really grateful for my friend because um, these types of things are very awkward. I wouldn't even be able to find this place by myself. It's hard to find love hotels in Korea, English speaking, because they're all, everything's in Korean. So let me give you a quick look around of everything. Accommodation is quite small in Korea and people live with their parents into their 20s and 30s. And that is why there's a need for love hotels. To book a love hotel, you can either walk in or you can book on an app. Love hotels are generally found in the older districts and away from schools, near public transport, bars, and karaoke. Love hotels can also be used as a cheaper accommodation for naps or for travelers. 
There are themed love hotels in Korea, but there's not as many themed ones as there are in Japan. Oh, got the goods. There is. <laughs> Secret. Oh, the camping pouch. Oh, you got a slushie yeah. for free? Yeah, it's free. So, we have the camping pouch. Let's see what's in here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we have this. These are, uh, we got some straps and things. Okay. I feel like this would be more suited for the jail. Wow. All right. This is the, the masochist, sadist masochist type of... Oh, they have a leash. <laughs> I hope they wash this stuff. Stay back. Right. So that is our props. There's, there's no chalk. We got everything we need now. I'm gonna make some coffee. Because accommodation is so small here, Usually people go other places to have fun or whatever. And there's also a thing, it's called a DVD room. And people also use those. It's kind of like a Netflix and chill room. You pick out a DVD and you just go into this room where you can watch it. And they also use that for uh, heathen business. Not me, I'm celibate. Corn? Yeah, corn tea. Corn tea? Yeah. So I feel like this is a cultural experience. Let's try it. This is what you do at Love Hotels, by the way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tastes like corn water. <laughs> it's corn water. I wouldn't drink that recreationally. Okay, well, I guess there's no sugar. Mm. That's disgusting. Okay, so I was just unboxing this lovely costume I just bought. This top is actually kind of cute. It's not bad. It's like a little crop top. And then it has these very small... Very small, cheap uh, underwear. I will not be using those. And then we have the skirt, which is Velcro, conveniently. Perfect. I can just put this over top of my clothes right now. Let me just put these on. <laughs> Let me slip into something more comfortable here. Uh, and it's my size. Um, this one's a little small. Hold on. It looks like an adult I'm trying to put on child's clothing. It's fine. Right? Right. Now we have to take a nice thumbnail. I don't know who this kind of thing would turn on. This room is very like clinical feeling. I would not be into this type of thing. It is cool that you can rent a hotel room, but also if you want to do a little photo shoot, they have different themes. They have a hospital themed one. They have a, a jail cell, which is the one we wanted to get because it was the coolest and looking. They also have like a golf room and they have pole and stuff. So now I'm going to try and make a, a nice clean thumbnail for this video. We've been here for like an hour now. In Japan, you could get one for overnight or you could get it for two hours. Here, the option is four hours. Don't really need four hours here. I don't know really know what else to do. I did drink this drink, which was way better than the corn water. I think we're going to leave soon. Yeah, that's been a themed love hotel in Korea. I don't really think I have much use for this costume. We spent 30,000, I spent 30,000 plus 18,000, so like 48,000. It's just, it's like a hotel room with a, some desks. <laughs> Like there's, a, I can't make it more yeah. interesting than it is. Anyways, yeah, this, it's a bit awkward here cause we have no use for this room. So we're gonna go. The receptionist is probably like, wow, they're really fast. Kamsamida. <laughs> I don't want any, but you could. I could if I want. We stayed there for like an hour, got all the props and the costume and everything and left after an hour. <laughs> Ah! Yes, everyone, we just went into a love hotel. <laughs> La -da -da. Oh, here's the, yeah, it has a billiard hall. 
We should have went, I think that was in B1. What's a battleground? They have John Ha. Huh. I love John Ha. Huh. <laughs> well, okay. That was Korean, a Korean love hotel. I just wanted to show you guys that before I left. And I'm leaving here very soon, in just a couple days now. So I'm glad that I was able to do this video. And I want to give a shout out to Min for helping me translate and film because I wouldn't be able to do this if he didn't help. There's a bunch of old people walking by that just keep staring at me. Like they're just staring so hard. This guy's turned back like three different times. <laughs> Stare. The old people just stare at me and I stare at them back and they keep staring and it's so awkward. Anyways, if you like this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here. I love you very much. Stay extraterrestrial and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. These old people are distracting me, sorry.